what's up everybody Rob here with entertainment tech and today we're gonna to be teaching you how to stream now whether you're here to learn how to stream for entertainment tech or if you're just here to learn how to stream and use XSplit, that's fine I welcome you and let's get started so the first thing we're gonna to want to do is update our DirectX version so at the time that uh, I believe DirectX 11 is the highest DirectX so just go to google.com type in DirectX update DirectX is all one word by the way and download DirectX and user runtime right there. Go ahead and click that. Choose your language. I'm going to use English and hit download. Now, because I'm using Google Chrome, this little box in the left hand corner that says this type of file can harm your computer uh, is going to pop up for me. I'm going to go ahead and hit keep, and that's going to automatically go to my downloads folder. If you're using Internet Explorer, might be a bit different, might get a run or save box. Go ahead and save that and save that to the location of your choice. Uh, so, I'm going to go to my start button, computer. OSC users my name and uh, downloads here that's gonna have all the files that I just downloaded and we what we want is the DX web setup that's the DirectX updater so go ahead and click that and I accept the agreement these are some terms you can read here I've already read them and uh, let's not install the Bing bar I don't want to have that that's completely optional and up to you go ahead and uh, install that if you like so it's gonna install our components and I'm going to let it run through that and installation is complete because I already have my DirectX up to date so just go ahead and let that run through it might take a moment but shouldn't be too complicated if you're having any troubles feel free to email me at robertjones at entertainmenttech.net and I'll be happy to resolve any issues you're having so go ahead and hit finish on that and the next thing we're going to want to do is update our Microsoft C++ redistributable so we're going to go back to our favorite browser. We already got the download center open, so just type in C++ redistributable. Alrighty, and that takes us to C++ 2010 times 64 and C++ 2010 times 86. Now we're going to have to figure out if we have a 32 or 64 bit operating system in order to pick one of these. So go ahead and go into your start bar right here. and. Uh, in this little search bar right here, type in DXDIAG. DXDIAG. And that stands for, uh, I'm sorry, you're going to you're gonna want to type in run. And there's the run panel. And in there, you're going to type in DXDIAG. And that'll open up DXDIAG. And uh, what is it? What this is is DirectX Diagnostics Tool. And we have System Display, Sound 1 and 2, and Input options in here. Go ahead and head to your system and look at your operating system. And it'll tell you Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit or Windows XP 32-bit, something of that nature. What we're interested in is these two numbers, 64 or 32-bit. So uh, if you have 32-bit, you're going to want to download this times 86 right here. If you have 64-bit like me, you're going to want to download this times 64 one. So I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, times 64. And I'm going to choose English again and download. Once again, it's going to pop up in the lower left-hand corner. I'm going to hit Key, minimize that, go back to the start bar, Computer, OSC, Users, Robert, Downloads, and there's our files again. So uh, what I want is the VC Redist X64. For you, it might be VC Redist X32. Either way is fine. Go ahead and click on that, and that's going to open up the Microsoft C++ Downloader. So. Uh, because I already have Microsoft C++, it pops open this window for me, and uh, so I don't have to go through the installation at all. Uh, so I'm just going to close that down, but go ahead and run through that installation. It shouldn't take more than a minute, and it should be pretty simple. And just let it update your C++. So uh, once you've got that done, congratulations, you're that much closer to streaming. The next thing we're going to do is take a look at some of your system specs and internet connection. There is a certain internet connection you need. Your system specs can vary uh, depending on what games you want to stream, but uh, I'm just going to give you a couple of guidelines here that will uh, be a pretty good jumping off point for what kind of computer you should have if you're going to stream. So I'll just open up uh, Notepad here, give you some visuals. And uh, what you want is uh, Windows 7 slash Vista slash XP operating system a dual core 2.0 gigahertz processor a at least two gigabytes of ram internet access and hopefully you have internet access i don't know how you're viewing this video otherwise 
And uh, finally, a nice thing to have would be Steam. Not completely necessary, but it does have some good games to stream for a pretty cheap price. So, uh, here's some of the stuff you need. Let's take a look at that. So we're going to go back into DX Diag. Remember, go to Start Bar, Run, hit the Run icon, and put in DX Diag, hit OK. Take us back to that DirectX Diagnostic Tool. And, okay, so I need Windows 7. Well, my operating system is Windows 7, or at Vista or XP would work. But uh, I can see right here I have Windows 7, 64-bit. And it doesn't matter if it's 32 or 64-bit, that's uh, not that important. So the next thing we need is Dual Core 2.0 GHz processor. And I can go down here to my processor and I see that I have Intel R Core TM i7 processor with 2.0 GHz, 2.0, 2.0 and 8 CPUs, which is the cores. I have 8, we only need 2. So that's fine right there. I have uh, 4 times as many cores, appropriate gigahertz, and uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM. That's over here in your memory. 8,192 megabytes. For reference, uh, 1,000 megabytes equals 1 gigabyte. So, uh, I have 8,000 megabytes, that's 8 gigabytes, that's 4 times as much memory as I need to stream in an okay quality. And uh, finally, I have internet access and I have Steam down here. So, uh, we're good to go with that. My system specs are good to go. Um, don't, I don't want to save those. And we're uh, So as long as you meet some of those requirements, you're pretty good to go ahead and stream. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our internet connection. We're going to go up to our favorite browser again and go to www.speedtest.net. And it's going to bring up this page and just wait for it to load for a moment. And we're going to hit begin test. And it's going to select a server based on your location. And uh, it's going to take your ping, download, and upload speed. Now the lower the ping is, the better. That's basically how fast it takes for your server, uh, rather for your computer to contact the server. The download speed is how long it takes for you to send information to that server. Uh, our download speed is 24.54 megabits per second. That's a pretty good download speed, but we're not really worried about the download speed when it comes to streaming. We're sending information out, so we basically want to know how quickly can we get things out there. And that's the upload speed right here, 6.40 megabits per second. And what you need is for that number to be at least 2.0, or I'm sorry, rather 1.5 and we have 6.40 so that's a pretty good upload speed we can stream in some high quality there and uh, as long as you are above 1.5 you're good to go so let's go ahead and close that out and uh, we have all necessary requirements and a good internet connection we're good to go ahead and stream at least according to our computer so the next thing we need to do is go back into our browser and we're gonna download XSplit so go to XSplit.com and register to join the beta crew just type in your email I'll put in Microsoft Sam at Microsoft.com and just copy and paste that. Full name Microsoft J Samuel. Choose a screen name Microsoft Samuel. Password, just put in you know whatever your password is that you usually use. Uh, my favorite would be password 123 ABC. Go ahead and uh, copy and paste that in there. That didn't quite work there, but uh, and hit join now. They'll probably send you a confirmation email. Just go ahead to your email and accept that email. Go to the, the link that they provide you with and that'll activate your account. Then go down here and hit download XSplit now. It's going to be uh, XSplit Beta 5 Release Candidate. Go ahead and hit that. And it's going to download once again in the lower left hand corner. So we got to go back to our start bar. Computer. OSC. Users. Robert or your name. Downloads. And uh, what we want is XSplit Installer. You see I have a couple of versions here. Go ahead and hit that and run it. And it's going to extract the main application files. And since I already have XSplit installed, it's not going to let me install it twice. So uh, go ahead and hit Next and run through that. Just uh, agree to what it wants you to agree to. And uh, you know, you'll have XSplit installed. And once it's installed, go ahead and uh, run it. Alrighty, so XSplit might take a moment to open up, but that's fine. We all have a little bit of patience in us. So uh, just let it boot up there. And you're going to come to the latest news. Just close that out. And what we have here is the XSplit broadcaster in the background. And I already have some screen regions and things like that set up for you, so we'll just go ahead and delete those. We don't really need those quite yet. But uh, we don't really have a channel to stream with yet, so let's go back into that browser. 
and go to www.justin.tv. And I'm gonna have to sign out of my account here. So hit that sign out button. And go right here to create account. And uh, make a username, password, birthday, and email. And uh, go ahead and create an account. And that will allow you to have a Justin TV account with which to stream. Once you've created that account, and it might send you a confirmation email once again, just go to that email and follow the link. Hit sign in and uh, log in with your username and password. I'm just going to use mine. You can go ahead and see the username there, but I think I'll keep the password to myself for now. So, go ahead and log in. And it takes you to your home. Go ahead and uh, hit the drop down arrow and hit channel. <clears throat> and congratulations, you uh, have a now you now have a Justin TV channel with which to stream. So we're all set up there. Let's go ahead and close that out. And what we're going to want to do is uh, set up some things in XSplit. So let's go to File, and uh, let's add a title. So what this does is you can add some text to your XSplit. I'm going to put the XSplit box over there. And uh, let's put in about uh, welcome to my stream. I'm going to put in welcome to entertainment tech. So we'll put that in there. And uh, let's change the color to maybe a nice blue. And uh, let's set that scrolling slow. We're good to go. And that pops up on the screen. Let's set that screen region down to a little bit smaller. And now you can see that we have uh, some scrolling text down in the bottom there. And uh, what I did here was set it across my screen region so that it's just on the bottom of the box that people are watching me stream in. So basically, if you set a screen region or something of that nature, make sure that you stretch it so that people can actually see it. Alrighty, so the next thing we're going to want to do is set a viewing window. So go down to Add, Screen Region, and let's just copy the whole desktop here. And uh, we'll stretch that out. Remember to make things nice and big for people. Alrighty, and they can see that. It says Welcome to Entertainment Tech. Everything looks pretty nice. And uh, we're getting kind of this I can see for miles effect. But uh, that's fine. That's just uh, letting you know that XSplit is working. And the next thing we're going to want to do is set up our channel for Dustin TV. So let's go down to View, Resolution. Make sure that's set to uh, either 1280 by 720 or 800 by 600. Sometimes I like to do 1280. That makes the window quite big though. Um, so let's go, let's set that back to 800 by 600. That's uh, both okay qualities for streaming. And let's go to frame rate, make sure that's set to 30 FPS. Alrighty, so let's go to broadcast and edit channels. Now you can go over to profile here and uh, set some things, your name, country, things of that nature. General, make sure you have enable Skype interaction. Uh, most of these settings aren't really that important. And then go to channels and let's hit add. Uh, go ahead and hit Justin TV and add in your username, password, and channel will be set by default. I'm going to go ahead and hit uh, my channel that I have created already and edit it. And your channel gets set by default, your locations will stay as default. Preset for video encoding should be XSplit default. Quality 6, VBV max bit rate, kilobytes per second, uh, 1500. Same for VBV buffer, 1500. The resolution should stay at default stage. Format for your audio encoding is 44.100 kilohertz, 16-bit uh, stereo, MP3 codec, and 320,000 bit rate. Go ahead and hit OK, and uh, OK again, and uh, you're ready to go ahead and broadcast to Justin TV, so go ahead and hit broadcast there, and uh, what should happen is the uh, text up here will change to red, and it'll say that you're streaming, and uh, now once it's streaming live, you're going, you're connected, you have uh, zero viewers right now, but that's because we haven't let anybody know we're streaming, and your bit rate is uh, 1,039 kilobits a second, everything looks good, so uh, now that we got that already we are streaming and uh, that's about it folks so thank you for watching make sure to subscribe and visit us at www.entertainmenttech.net for more cool videos and uh, I'm out of here so see you next time